What's going on, you guys? Like what you guys tell the channel? It's your boy Big Dog back with another one take review. There we got one for uh, Ven well, tonight we got one for Venom Saga episode eight. Uh, I just have to watch episode seven and eight, and I'm super. I'm actually drove. I didn't get to, to like review episode seven last week because that jump was hard. Once we meet the look, the girl, the slave chick, who I think is gonna like play a role. You know what I'm saying? To some extent. You know what I'm saying? Down the road. And we got the Thorfinn finally got his duel with Ashla. He lost because, like, he got in this man's head. And, like, he, he, like, because it was a good fight to begin with. It. And Ashla realized, like, oh, shit. This boy has gotten so much better. And, like, he is really trying to kill me. <laughs> like, this is. Uh, now, now, and, like, let me pull out my bag of tricks. Get him. Get to talking about his daddy. And like, he should have knew, like, bro, it's a tactic. Like, so many times. Like, that's one thing about Thorfinn. Like, he got to realize that there's so many things, like, he has to learn. Like, to, and him, he's just like, I don't, like, he's just going. Like, he's just, he has one thing on his mind, and he's not trying to learn other little things to do on the side. None of that. He's not interested in anything but killing Ashla. And my whole thing with that is like it kind of came back to bite him in the ass in episode 8 when he's going against... Well, Ashla said "Go get, bring me the head of Thor Thorkel. Who is a... First of all, he's a giant. He used to be with... He used to... Him and Floki used to be some kind of allies. So if he was allies with him, he probably was allies with Thor's because once at the end of the fight was over, he, uh, uh, he asked... Uh, Thorfinn who he was and he told him like I'm a son of Thor's so apparently they probably had some kind of relationship I'm pretty sure all three of those guys I don't know how much of Floki like how, how tough Floki is but from the Floki is like the first person we see in the show Floki and Thor so you know what I'm saying you know Floki is legit as well and so now we find like, like Thor is legit also Thor looks a lot like Ashley as well I think Cause at the end of like episode seven, I'm like, wow, is, is this twin? Is this his brother or something? And then you see it's like, oh, okay, they 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 do have some differences. They still look pretty similar to me. Also, the, the guy's just a giant, and he is literally destroying ships with his, like with logs that he are throwing into their boats. I and he this he's a person. I it's 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 insane because for him, he just likes the battle. And it's not that he don't want a battle that he knows he's going to win. He wants a fight. He wants a challenge. He wants to like, hey, he wants the disadvantage because he reminds me of myself when I'm playing uh, when I'm hooping. I never want to like get the like the super good squad. I pick like the scrubs that I know I'm gonna have to like play at my very best to win. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm playing like let's say I'm just picking up random people and, and I gotta let everybody else pick all the good people and I pick up the scrubs and I know I might possibly lose but it's like hey that's fine with me because I know I was at a disadvantage you know what I'm saying and, and like that's pretty much what he is he's like I just, I'm just i enjoying this like and the fight between him and Thorfinn was a really good fight and like for anybody else it probably would have worked but this guy got stabbed in the hand just so he can like, yeah, I take that, I take that. It's just so he can grab him. And once he grabbed him, yeah, that was pretty much the end of that fight. And like, but like Thorfinn never gave up, he cut off his fingers and like the guy was just like, hey man, can we fight again? Thorfinn has broken ribs. I think he had a dislocated shoulder and a sprained ankle. He caught up with Ashley and his crew and they're like, hey man, we're going to Wessex. You know what I'm saying? You come along, if not, you just stay back or whatever. We don't really, like, I don't really care. And, like, he's, like, he's using the shit out of him. At some point, Thorfinn got to be like, okay, I have to do something. Because, like, I'm I'm steady. I know I have a purpose and I want to kill this guy, but, like, he's steady using the shit out of me. And he's getting used out of me. Like, I don't, I wouldn't want him to benefit from anything that I'm doing. And at some point, I'd just be like, no, I would do something to be like, okay, I earned, I earned a duel. 
But I have to leave and make sure, like, yo, next time I see him, I'm going to be careful. Or, what's crazy, in episode seven, I thought once he got introduced to, like, where this guy was from, this guy was from, and, like, he met all his people, and met all the, how the town loved him and shit. At that moment, I'm thinking to myself, like, Thorfinn, this guy came, and it, like, he ruined your world. Like, do the same to him. Like, everything you're doing right now, like, killing him wouldn't be enough. Like, he's had you captured for years. Well, not captured, but, like, you, you know what I'm You've been tormented for years for him being alive. Like, you should make it a mission for your life to, like, torment him or, like, be in his way constantly. That would have more effect than you doing everything he says and, 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 and just to get a, a fight with him and, and I don't turn out how you want. But his his mind is so clouded that I, I don't think he even sees that. But hopefully he will eventually because <laughs> like, I need him to, to I, and I don't know how long Ashla is going to last or like how long this is going to like be a thing where like he's joining them and riding with him and whatever. Like I just need Thorfinn to get his mind like kind of clear, but I rock with Thorfinn's character. I love him. Like, he hard. Like, he like, do hard. Completely. It's just I need him to get it together. Like, you have to think smarter. That's one thing about Thor as his father. He was a lot smarter. Like, he would have been able to, like, play the game. And, like, that's one thing Thorfinn does not know how to do is play the game. Like, he he's he's blinded. And, you know what I'm saying? I think until like he calms down just a little bit, he can keep that intensity and that fire and that flame that he's had. But he needs to like be able to see clear and think clear. If not, he loses still. You know what I'm saying? Excellent two episodes. I'm so happy. I'm actually happy. I like watching them back to back was actually better. Uh, but I'm not gonna be able to not watch next week's episode. Uh, back to back to the weekly review. So I uh, catch up with you guys next week. Let me know what you thought about this episode. Down in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I catch up with you guys later.